Welcome to Technology and Livelihood Education. Modatag Curriculum. Welcome to Technology and Livelihood Education. New Modatag Curriculum. Information and Communication Technology For Grade 7 Our topic is Occupational Safety and Health Standards in ICT The Hazards and Risk and 5S The content standard for this lesson is To demonstrate an understanding of the occupational safety and health standards in ICT environments The learning competency is the learners shall be able to discuss occupational safety and health standards in ICT environments. By the end of the lesson, students will be able to identify the hazards and risks in ICT environments. Enumerate the 5S in organizing ICT environments. Look around your surroundings. Can you see anything that could cause danger or harm if you didn't notice it? Look around your surroundings again, be a little more observant and check the walls, the ceiling, the floor, the electric fans, the lights, the switches, the cables, have you noticed more things that could cause danger or harm this time? Could you tell something about the pictures below? <music> Identifying hazards and risk. Hazard is anything that could hurt you or someone else. A hazard is any source of potential damage, harm, or adverse effects on something or someone. Hazards can be physical, chemical, biological, ergonomic, or psychological. It is a situation, object, or substance that has the intrinsic ability to cause harm. Risk is the possibility that a hazard will harm someone. Risk refers to the likelihood that a hazard will cause harm, combined with the severity of that harm. Risk is the likelihood or probability that a hazard will actually cause harm or damage, combined with the severity of the potential outcome. It considers both the chance of an incident occurring and the potential impact of that incident. The difference between hazard and risk. Hazard is a potential source of harm or what could go wrong. Risk is the likelihood and impact of that harm occurring or how likely it is to go wrong and how bad it would be. For example, hazards exist independently. A sharp knife is a hazard. The risk is contextual and depends on the circumstances and how the hazard is managed. The risk of injury is higher if the knife is handled carelessly. The following are the hazards in an ICT environment. First is the physical hazards. The cables running across the floor, the slippery floor. Ergonomic risks, poor workstation setup, can result in repetitive strain injuries, back pain, or eye strain. Next is the mechanical hazards. Computer chassis. Next is the chemical hazards. The display cleaning chemicals. Keyboard cleaning chemicals. Compressed gas dirt and dust removers. Other cleaning solvents, the electric shock hazard. Inside computers and electronic equipment. The CRT monitor high voltage hazard, open CRT monitors. What are the types of hazards indicated in the following items? Inkjet printer. The hazards are. First electrical hazards, potential risk of electric shock or fire if the printer's electrical components are faulty or improperly handled. Next is the chemical hazards, ink cartridges, can contain chemicals that may be harmful if spilled or inhaled. Prolonged exposure can cause irritation or health issues, and the mechanical hazards, moving parts such as rollers and print heads, can cause injury if users come into contact with them while the printer is operating or being serviced. Running cables on the floor. Trip hazards. Cables lying on the floor can create tripping hazards, leading to falls and potential injuries. Electrical hazards. 
damaged or improperly secured cables can pose risks of electrical shock or short circuits. There is also the risk of fire if cables are overloaded or frayed. Ergonomic hazards, constantly stepping over cables or working in an environment where cables are not properly managed can contribute to poor posture and repetitive strain injuries. Inside computers and electronic equipment. The hazards are, first is the electrical hazards, exposure to live electrical components inside computers can cause electric shock or short circuits. Proper handling and safety procedures are essential when servicing these devices. Next is the heat hazards, computers and electronic equipment generate heat during operation. Overheating components can cause burns or fires if not properly cooled or ventilated. And the sharp objects, inside computers, there are sharp edges and metal parts that can cause cuts or other injuries during maintenance. Slippery floor. The hazards are slip and fall hazards. A slippery floor increases the risk of slipping and falling, which can lead to serious injuries such as fractures, sprains, or head injuries. The ergonomic hazards, persistent issues with slippery floors can force employees into awkward positions or movements to avoid slipping potentially leading to musculoskeletal injuries. Keyboard. The hazards are Electrical hazards, electric shock. If a keyboard is damaged or if there's a fault in the electrical wiring or connections, there could be a risk of electric shock, especially when cleaning or handling the device while it is plugged in. Short circuits. Introducing moisture or conductive materials to the keyboard's internal components can cause short circuits or damage. Ergonomic hazards, repetitive strain injuries, prolonged typing or improper ergonomics can lead to repetitive strain injuries such as carpal tunnel syndrome, tendonitis, or neck and back strain. Cleaning materials. The hazards are chemical hazards, inhalation risks, many cleaning agents contain volatile organic compounds, VOCs, or other chemicals that can be harmful if inhaled. Proper ventilation is important. Skin contact. Direct contact with cleaning chemicals can cause skin irritation or allergic reactions. It's essential to use gloves and follow safety instructions. Eye damage, splashing or spillage of cleaning liquids can cause eye irritation or damage if they come into contact with the eyes. Next is the electrical hazards, moisture risks. Cleaning with liquids or damp cloths can introduce moisture to electrical components, potentially causing electrical shorts, corrosion, or damage to internal parts of the keyboard. The 5S. Say re or sort. Say ton or set in order. Say so or shine. Say ketchu or standardize and shitsuki or sustain. 5S is a systematic approach to workplace organization and standardization, originating from Japan and widely used in various industries to enhance efficiency and productivity. The name 5S comes from the five Japanese words that describe the steps of the methodology, each starting with the letter S. The 5S are First is the Seiri. It is the sorting or putting things in order. Remove or discard what is not needed, so that there are fewer hazards and less clutter to interfere with work. Only keep what is needed. The objective is to identify and separate necessary items from unnecessary ones. Action to be taken is to remove items that are not needed for current operations and keep only what is essential. This reduces clutter and frees up space. Next is the say ton or the orderliness or proper arrangement. Place things in such a way that they can be easily reached whenever they are needed. There must be a place for everything and everything must be in its place. The objective is to Organize and arrange the necessary items for easy access and efficient workflow. And the action to be taken is to arrange tools, materials, and equipment in a logical order so that they are easy to find and use. Labeling and standardizing storage locations help minimize time spent searching for items. Number three is the say so or shine it to clean or cleanliness. Keep workplace and things clean and polished, no trash or dirt in the workplace. The objective is to clean the workspace and maintain cleanliness. Action to be taken is to regularly clean the area to remove dirt, dust, and debris. 
This helps identify and address any maintenance issues and ensures a tidy environment that promotes safety and efficiency. Number 4 is the Seiketsu or Standardize. Standardize or Purity. 2. Maintain cleanliness after cleaning, consistently, perpetual cleaning. Such cleaning is part of everyone's work. The objective is, establish standards and procedures to maintain the organization and cleanliness. The action to be taken is to develop and implement standardized practices for sorting, organizing, and cleaning. Ensure that all employees follow these standards consistently to maintain the improvements made in the previous steps. And number 5. Shitsuki, or, Sustain. Sustaining, Discipline, Commitment. 2. Maintain standards, and keep the facility in safe and efficient order day after day, year after year. Objective, cultivate discipline and a culture of continuous improvement. The action be taken is, to encourage ongoing adherence to the 5S principles and promote a culture of self-discipline. Regular audits, training, and reinforcement help sustain the improvements over time. The benefits of 5S improved efficiency, streamlined workflows and organized workspaces reduce time spent searching for tools and materials, enhanced safety, a clean and organized environment reduces the risk of accidents and injuries, higher quality, standardized procedures and cleanliness contribute to higher quality outputs and fewer errors, increased productivity, with fewer disruptions and a more orderly workspace, employees can work more effectively and efficiently. A time to remember. This is Maylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.